Welcome to the Phoenix Empath Intuitive. We sometimes give our light and energy to people who never really see our worth. And sometimes we have to discover how to take our power and energy back by using affirmations, visual inspiration, oracles, and meditation. I am here to give you motivation on how the past is always our teacher and we can learn from each other. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Thank you guys and I truly love you. Hey you guys. Ooh. Can y'all see my Oreo cookies? Okay. Yeah, I eat the insides of my Oreos and throw the rest of them away. Oh, anyway, so we are, where's my trash can? We are going to get energy to see how you're doing, see what you're dealing with. And it is the full, the excuse me, it is, what am I going to say? I'm trying to think. Cancer. The moon is in Cancer? Am I saying that right? I don't know. But so I guess um, with this full moon that just came, I'll go ahead and pull from the Moonology Oracle deck to get energy. And then we'll go from there. Work through your fears. The new moon is Scorpio. You know, the new moon is Scorpio. Work through your fears. You are working through your fears. You have to understand that everything on the other side of fear is success. Uh, you're very close to achieving your goals, the gibbous moon. So, um... I can read this because I have the book somewhere, but I think we're just going to go ahead and continue to talk about uh, different energies that um, we are going to deal with or the different energies that we're dealing with. Um, I'll go ahead and pull from the energy oracle deck as well. So work through your fears. Why can I say what I want to say in regards to it being the moon is in cancer? Oh, God. Is it? Oh, I can't even say it because... I've been so busy watching this trial. Too many cards came out. Hostilities. You know, hostilities. Card number 26. You could be 26 years old. Bottom of the deck. But we also have envy, financial constraints, the garden gate. So, card number 13, 30, and 20. Um, so, what this is, is you, the same thing, the garden of the gate is like, you can stay inside of this garden in so many words in the synopsis of this, you can stay inside of this garden and not go and venture out or you can venture out and because you're you're afraid or you like it and it's beautiful where you are, like you're basically content with what you with who you are or you can go through this gate and adventure the world. You have to choose what you want to do. Right now, it might be beautiful and you have everything set up the way you want it to be or in your mind is set up the way you want it to be, but you're going through some type of financial constraints with the um, this card being here. So I'll go ahead and pull this energy uh, to read about it. And also with the new moon, let me see if I can find my deck. Um, yeah, with the new moon, because, you know, again, everything is on the other side of fear and you need to understand that. And so being uh, stagnant and not taking the leap uh, can be bad for you, Moonology Oracle deck. Here it is. I have a new Moonology deck that I don't know what I did with the cards. They're somewhere, the new Moonology, the sister deck to this. But anyways, I'll read Work Through Your Fears and let me go ahead and see about the what I'm trying to say to you with the moon it is the full moon is in cancer that's what I'm trying to say the full moon is in cancer so I'll read that too because that is the beginning so the moon in cancer that is us full moon in cancer card number 74 I'll read that even though it's not out here here it is a personal issue reach resolutions Things are likely to get very heated as the full moon in Cancer is a super emotional sign. There could, uh, so there could be something of an explosion of feelings around now or surrounding your questions. It says it is important to be sensitive to other people when you pull this card. There are some very fine sensibilities around, so tread carefully as you move move towards your goal or dreams. This card indicates an especially feminine time. It says it is all, it also heralds the time to deal with any family issues coming up. Nothing to worry about. It signals a challenge. Uh, excuse me. 
It signals a challenge is now coming to an end. This card also suggests both that the both that a domestic matter or a private issue will soon come to a head and that it is great time to it is a great time to move house. Hmm. The the answer to your question Hold on. The answer to your question lies in being a kind leader. This is the time for you to step up and agree to overcome your insecurities. Okay, I'm going to read the Guardian of the Gate because I know that that says something like that. It says, attune the moon. It may be the best. It may be best to move towards what you want in a sideways manner. Additional meanings for this card. Meditate to soothe uh, heightened emotions. Don't be clinky. Stop soaking. Have you had enough family time lately? The teaching. The heightened emotions of the cancer moon excuse me, of the moon-cancer com combination can't be ignored. However, cancer is one of the moon's two home signs along with Taurus. So astrology, astro astrologically, astrologically, oh shoot, I can't say it. Astrologically speaking, astrologically, I'm done with my life. Astrologically speaking, I'm done. Uh, <laughs> the moon loves to be in the sign in this sign in fact she rules cancer the, this means that with the card there is the sense that all is as it should be or don't worry as it will be it will soon be so that is what the moon and cancer is right work through your fears is basically self-explanatory because it's not the moon and cancer ha 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 so personal issue reaches a resolution so there you have it that is what's going on. We have the full moon is in Cancer, and that's where we are, right? So the hostilities, the envy, um, the financial constraints, that all is coming to an end. The garden in the gate, the envy. Let me read that now. Garden in the gate. What did I do with this book? I have all of these cards laying across this area, and I have the book somewhere hold on one second let me find the book are you gonna cut my light on for me thank you no don't climb up there go around hey, hey, hey. go around okay sorry about that so financial constraints restrictions concerning money upright this card shows an old-fashioned safe uh, an old-fashioned safe with little money but lots of cobwebs and dust money may be tight at this time so rein in your spending and be uh circumspect about the financial requirements in your life this is not a time for indulgence so be aware of what's really important and consciously choose your expenditures it says there there's a big difference between uh what you need and what you want this card is telling you to take care of your needs and buy your time it says and buy your time or buy your time it says things will get better but for now be willing to live more conservatively and always value the money and the good things you already have. Okay, yeah. Can you not do that? What? I know, but you watch your own TV in your room. I love oh, it. This is the color red. I know it's the color red. It is. Um, so it says affirmations. I can move through. I can move through any cycles with di dignity and awareness. I am open to receiving increasingly increasing wealth. Money moves to and to and through my life, bringing benefits to all. Okay, you no no no. I'm recording, so you go in there and watch your TV. Okay. Thank you, pretty. I'll see you in a minute. Yep. Take your fishing pole. So that's for financial constraints. Hold on one second. Okay, I was about to cough sneeze or something the next card is card number 30 so that's card number 13 13 could be your lucky number this is card number 30 you might be 30 years old and we have card number 20 out here you know so garden of the gate abundant prosperity prosperity and staying safe so it says this card shows a peaceful woman in a beautiful blossoming garden with colorful flowers all around however the gate to the road outside the garden is locked while the girl wears a key on the chain around her neck this card upright bodies well for both upright bodes well for a financial scene in fact there may be a lot of money on the other or other personal pleasures coming your way at this time but beware the choice uh to stay in 
in the seeming security of this loving garden may actually be motivated by a habit or a fear of the unknown. It says this beauty is enticing and worth enjoying, but you may not be giving your spirit the freedom to roam. While it's fine to amass a great deal of wealth, don't let it keep you from the karmic path. Don't let it keep you from your karmic path or from living your, your truth. It says you have the choice to shift the, your focus, widen your spiritual perspective, perspective and gain the world that is just outside of that gate. It says, the affirmation, it says, I am blessed with the abundant uh, with an abundantly spiritual life. Every day, in every way, my joyous prosperity grows and grows. So again, you know, work through your fears. Like I said, everything is on the other side of fears. I said that before this card came out and it just happened to come out. So if your finances uh, are, um, are taking a hit, right now you know it says conserve but i'm i'm different from that i believe in the game of life and how to play it and how it says to as money comes out money comes in so that's how i look at it but the fear is what we're con we're conquering right now the fear of lo losing a person leaving a person um meaning losing this relationship or walking away from a relationship or walking from uh, away from the things that hold you back or the fear from um, how somebody feels about a situation or how somebody can feel about you if you decide to change and do the things that you actually love. So there will be envy here. Card number 20, I'll read that and then we'll move forward with tarot. All right, lack and dissatisfaction. This card shows a woman uh, holding a huge pearl in her hand and a platter of coins and pearls in the other. She stands in the silver room looking out at a golden city on the horizon it says she has a life of value already but she ignores that uh and longs for a shining prosperity she sees elsewhere instead of feeling happy and fulfilled her desire for money for more only causes a deep sense of lack and dissatisfaction and the energy shows uh in her dress Okay, it says this card upright tells you to let go of the jealousy and acknowledge the blessings you already have in your life. Now is the time to shift your focus. After all, when you're envious of others, it only attracts more to them, not you. It only attracts more to this person, not you. So if you're watching and steady looking at what somebody else is doing. Now, this is different with being locked in the gate and not being able to expand your horizons work through your fears that's you be, being comfortable but where you are and not wanting to go outside the gate because you don't know what is happening but if you're in a situation to where once you go out the front of the house and not that gate to see because the gate has a lot of adventures on the other side but if you go out the front of the house to where you're comfortable at if you see somebody in their lives look like they have it all together nine times out of ten they might or they might not but don't be envious of those people does that make sense? It says, notice all that you have and think, okay, wait, this card upright. It says, this card upright tells you to let go of the jealousy and acknowledge the blessings you already have in your life. Now is the time to shift your focus. After all, when you, you are envious of other, it only attracts more to them, not to you. Notice all that you have and thank the universe for it. If this card is near the appreciation card, in your spread this message is doubtly important now is the time to move from a conscious of lack because the lack is right there right to one of value it says with the shift all things change affirmation uh, affirmation i let go of lack i look at the blessings in my life with joy and satisfaction i am glad so that is that card for envy so there you have it so here it is on the other side of this on the other side of not being able to take a leap or working through your fears of taking a leap, you can become envious if you keep seeing the same people flourish and you're just sitting here because your, your flowers are growing. You, you could have financial issues, but again, on the other side of fear is a flourishing amount of abundance, right? So 
if you take that leap, the universe will let you know that you are very, if you have taken that leap, the universe will let you know you are very close to your uh, achieving your goals, the gibbous moon. But we're in the moon of cancer, which is you actually knowing that a situation is going to come to uh, an end. You know, it's going to come to the head and you're going to be able to understand and deal with, sorry, I turned around. You're going to be able to understand and deal with everything when it comes to this cancer moon it's personal issues reach a resolution so i think your personal issue is that you're gonna go and take a leap you know you're gonna stop being envious of others not saying jealous but envious meaning that you know because you don't know what happens if you take that leap and go out that back gate you have the key to success you have the key to creating your own story but you won't use it you have the key to do all of these things but you won't use it. So, with that being said, I'll pull from the, hmm, I haven't used my sacred signs and symbols yet. I'll pull from the sacred signs and symbols to see what else we're going to talk about. And I didn't discuss hostilities, card number 26, um, because if you stay stagnant, you will eventually come become hostile. And that's just kind of how I see that, you know, hostile and envious of others. If you stay in the same place, you can only be in the same place for so long without wanting to grow. And again, you have the key to do everything that you need to do and work through your fears, but you don't choose to do that. So this is the sacred signs and symbols, and we're going to see what it is. Sorry about that. Okay. So yeah, I think that, you know, okay, those are a lot of cards that came out. And I'll take the, a lot of cards. So, I'll take those. Bottom of the deck is Black Umbrella. Dark times, closed off, guilt and regrets. You feel regret about something. Or you, or, I, we're going to make this about you. I don't think this necessarily, I don't want this to be about anybody else. But it might be. That's how it comes out. You know, but, you know, there has been some dark times when it comes to dealing with the person, place, thing, or situation. I'm going to pull from my doors deck. Also, these two cards tried to come out. I'll let them show their face. Hopefully, you could see this, but I'll pull. I'll turn these over as we keep going. The bottom of the deck is three cups. It says a toast of friendship is in the afternoon sun. Three cups is in happiness. Three cheers are done. Celebration is near. So there is celebration. It says that in the Cancer Moon, right? This being the Cancer Full Moon. So, um. Yeah, I just, I just feel like if it is about somebody and what you've been going through with the person, which we have, we're, you know, based upon all the reads, it's been a reconciliation, I cannot say it, a reconciliation, no, a reconciliation that's happening, you know, some of my words get twisted, but that's just it, they get twisted and it's nothing that, well, it is something, so I'll pull from the, hold on one second, I'll pull from the, uh, archetype deck let's see yeah I, my words get twisted i'll be having so much on my brain not even that that my words get twisted but yeah they do and it's okay because i'm okay with correcting myself and anyway the cards came out of ceo so uh dark times could have been with you and the ceo person you know or you know you being a ceo you could have had dark times, you know, meaning that if you are a business owner or something, you could have had dark times, right? Um, I'll go ahead and turn these over because they already came up. Were they in reverse? Let's see. Past life, Don Juan, and Old Sir Soul came out. And now we'll go ahead and pull these over. So the sacred signs and symbols come with healing stones, balance, and alignment, flashlight, clarity, discover, and investigation. See? Calculator. Financial strain, see, it says that. Money problems and survival. You know, the door that came out, which door do you choose, you know? Or maybe these are both of the doors that you're dealing with this issues, if it is. Silent skills. I challenge you to unpack your mind in meditation, grace, uh, in meditations, grace, the soul can unwind. In meditations, grace, the soul can unwind. Breathe in, breathe out. Let go of doubt. So, again... On the other side of fear is success. This door is here. Passages, spiritual signs of inclination. You're walking through passages of your transformation. 
I told you that. So this is where we are. So again, you could be the CEO of your life or you could have been dealing with dark times when it came to the CEO and therefore these cards come in reverse because it's like you had to walk away uh, from a hostile environment or a hostile situation because something of this situation was causing you to feel envious or have some type of hostility towards a person. But in actuality, your shit isn't together. And it's okay because you fear of moving forward. But that's why we're here to understand where we are stagnant at because we let the st we we become stagnant when we deal with the person's energy and we're not just going to blame it on a person and then we become sad and then we stop moving forward we stop believing in ourselves so when we stop fearing and we feel like that's the end all be all when it's not it's other people out there there's other situations out there and that's where i feel like the other side of fear is where you need to be, is where the success is. Oh, use that key to open that door. When you open that door and you go or open that gate and go out, there's no room for jealousy. There's no room for financial constraints because now you're going after things. You could have had dark times with this CEO person um, or and been closed off. This person was closed off and it caused you sadness. But a celebration is near. The past life, you're realizing that it has really nothing to do with the past life hey pretty it really has nothing to do with the past life it has nothing to do with this person it has nothing to do with your old soul meaning from a past life or how you how you process things of what you wanted from the ceo person it has to do with you healing and stepping out in regards to what it is and having dis uh, clarity and discover the things about you does that make sense so everything is on the opposite side of fear. Everything you need is on the other side of fear. You believing in yourself. You not being envious. You having the financial constraints because you're scared to take a leap and it caused you to feel hostile. Everybody's actions cause you to feel hostile about what it is that you got going on. That's why it said in the Cancer Moon, everything is going to come to an end. You know, personal, what did it say? The Moonology personal issues. Where is it at? 74, right here, came out. Personal issue, issues reach a resolution. You're going to reach a resolution with yourself, and therefore, you will be open to look at other things when it comes to the energies that you were faced with or had to deal with in the past that made you feel less than. Can't nobody make you feel less than if you learn to set boundaries, understand your purpose in life, and understand what it is that you bring to the table. But at some point, I think you were insecure about the things that you brought to the table because, again, you're dealing with a CEO, somebody who already has things going for themselves. So that can cause a lot of insecurities. I'm making sure you could see. That could cause a lot of insecurities when you're dealing with somebody who already has something and who is closed off that may have regrets or feels guilty about some dark times or this is your energy. You know, you want to blame it on other people, but you have to really see, you know, what it is. You have to see what it is and you have to put that energy into yourself. If that makes sense, right? You have to put that energy into yourself. You can't walk around sad. I mean, you can, but that causes envious energy and also hostility. Does that make sense? So you found balance. You weren't looking at this in the olden days like I'm going to stay with this person, place, or thing and let them be the breadwinner and tell me how to do things. This player energy, you know, who's not a player no more. This past life, you're not holding on to the past and saying, oh, well, I met this person in my past life and we are soulmates, we're connected. You're not even looking at it like that anymore. You're looking at it and you're having clarity in regards to understanding your silent skills. I challenge you to unpack your mind. In meditation's grace, the soul can re un unwind. Breathe in, breathe out, let go of doubt. You're going to stop doubting yourself. The passages, spiritual signs and inclinations. You're walking through the passages of your transformation. Everything you need to know is on the other side of that gate or on the other side of fear. This person 
I'm pretty sure it's easy and, and able to say no. This Don Juan goes after everything he wants. And all you want is a little bit of that, oh, a little bit of that power where you can wield your sword and say, you know what? I got this. I can conquer anything. Yep, I'm going to read it because now the hostility is here. The, the card is here. I'll read it, card number 26, to see what it says. Hostility, defenses up, aggressive energy. Upright, this card shows a man and his sword. Uh, it, raise, excuse me, this, this blah, blah, blah. Upright, this card shows a man raising his sword in readiness to do battle. When it comes up, right, it's, when it comes upright, it reveals a situation where hostilities towards you are about to be or have already been engaged. Yes, it says... My, my grandbaby's calling me. The aggressive energy may be verbal or emotional with somebody in your environment being excessively critical, demanding, or hurtful. That's CEO energy. I told you that. In a work or social situation, there may be a backstabbing or an out and out, out and out slander going on. Out and out slander going on. It says this is a different, this is different from the deceit card. Because this hostile energies are more apparent, more overt. It says, in fact, you may have been living with some, living with them for some time. But whether this is a new or an old energy, now is the time to regain control. Allow dishonoring treatment from others in an open invitation to the universe to send you more. It may feel risky, but you need to have the courage to stand up for yourself now and always. So again you're moving forward the affirmation i am receiving the peaceful harmonious treat treatment i deserve in my life i set boundaries make responsible requests and make my expectations clear that is on the other side of fear that's what i mean by that does that make sense okay so yeah i just feel like the old soul is no longer because you're going after you know here, here's how I kind of take the old soul. And this is just my perspective on it. This is somebody that is staying at home and is waiting for their CEO to come home. That's not the world today. You know what I'm saying? That's not the world today. It's not likely to happen. And if it is happening, girl, good luck to you. You know, I'm happy for you, you know. But as long as I feel like you're making something of yourself, I don't have anything to say. Meaning that you're not just, you're at home creating businesses. That's the new world today. That's what the world has been, not just today, but it should be. And now is the now is the time for online businesses, you know, and and everybody to get in a bag. You know, you see these TikTokers becoming and getting all these different things behind them, um, you know, at home dancing to music. I think that's dope. The the lady, oh God, what is her name? She has that great hair. She got more rhythm than I've ever had. You know, like I believe that is beautiful. You have people saying little words, creating songs, like getting their talent out there. So if you're at home waiting for this person to come home, don't, what you going to do when they not there, you know? And that's how I look at life, period. You got to figure it out on your own first, you know? And if you haven't figured it out on your own and you got somebody right there that's willing to keep you in this pretty garden and in the gate, you got to open that damn gate because when it's all said and done, you don't want to wait to the last minute to achieve your goals. You want to be achieving them now. Now, everything else inside of your house, I don't know. You know, will that be a problem? You know, as long as it's not taken from whatever you're doing before then, will it be a problem? But if it is, that's the reason, that's even more a reason why you need to have your shit together. You need to balance out this thing. It can't be a one-sided thing. Clarity, discovery, investigation. Investigate what you love. Do what you love. People are sewing. People are dancing. People are singing affirmations. They're saying little memes, things like that. They're creating itsy, you know, creating bracelets, uh, you know, things sprays meditation things like that they're creating so this is the world of the creators it's not the old soul no more it's not the person that's sitting there waiting for the don juan to come home but this person is in don juan mode maybe they are not this in this energy now i'm not sure but i'll pull tarot to clarify okay 
I just don't like when my cards come out like this, but okay, anyway. The old soul <laughs> is the five of cups energy. Having the insight and knowledge to know what causes you to be sad. You know, look at this. These cups, this person is looking at the castle there. That castle was sad. Inside of it looks good, but on the outside, it's like you're, you're yep, you're trying to walk away from this energy, you know, you're trying to walk away from this energy, six of swords energy. So you have the insight and knowledge to know what's causing you sadness and keeping your cup, um, cups knocked over. It's the king of wands energy. Hold on a second. Okay. So sorry about that. We have the, uh, king of wands energy. Okay, the King of Wands energy is a true leader, leads from the heart, inspires others to do more, dream bigger, and be better. So once you get out of this energy of waiting for somebody to come home or, you know, wanting to be like the girls in the movie, have those old romantic relationships. Don't just like Drake with white hair and tattoos on his hand. But, um, you know, you're going to start leading by example. My baby is talking to her mom and dad. Uh, and the... Uh, <laughs> the four of uh, swords energy is here. The four swords energy is being patient. So you have to be patient with all of this. It's not going to happen overnight. But here's the chariot. This is our energy. Where there's movement. There's confidence here. No matter what the situation is. The sand won't stop you. You know, nothing will stop you from reaching your goals. And then the empress is here. The empress is you nurturing you. You're nurturing you. You're nurturing your situations. You're nurturing the things that you want to do. You know, this is have, seeing the beauty in everything and having growth at the same time. So that is the energy that you're in with this situation and the Don Juan energy in reverse you know you could have been waiting on this Don Juan the CEO person who likes to have his cake and eat it too however now you're juggling your priorities and you know three of Pentacles three years you've been trying to work for yourself two or three you know Pentacles are equivalent to a year but three years you realize this teamwork is not gonna work or maybe it will but you've been juggling your priorities you know, when it comes to how to move forward and find people that want to work with you as a team and not just, you know, make you feel less than. Does that make sense? <clears throat> anyway, excuse me. The past life energy is in reverse. You felt like at one point this was a past life. Okay, so the card that tried to come over is the these cards and this card, which is the Queen of Cups energy. But now, you know, and that's why you were able to look this person through their eyes, make them feel understood. You know, um, what does it say? Queen of Cups, be someone who makes everyone feel important. Look them through their eyes and make them feel understood. That was the past life energy that you were looking at. Oh, sorry. But here it is. The Three of Cups energy is, you know, probably celebration. You know, Three of Cups, Three of Pentacles being here. You're celebrating differently now. This is happiness and offspring and gratitude. And also with the Five of uh, Swords energy, this is letting you know that this person that you were probably dealing with, that you thought was your past life love, had a ego issues. There were a lot of dark times with this person. Guilt and regrets is what you faced. Or this person, uh, to me... It's like <clears throat> uh, Klaus Michelson energy. That's how I see it. Do you know if you know who Klaus Michelson is uh, from the uh, originals? Uh, vampires. I like vampires. I like vampire movies. But that's what this reminds me of. The Klaus Michelson energy where he didn't, you know, when people started to get too close to him, he he pulled back. Or, you know, he was, it was, he was different from his brother. His brother was a loving person. Hey, baby. You ain't, you sprained your knee or you banged your knee? Let me see. Is it better? Go show, you go show your uncle. Yeah, so I just feel like, you know, the, the brother, they all had money. All of them had money. All of the brothers. One, one of the brothers, and if you know what the originals are, it was on CW. The best vampire show, one of the best, not the best, but one of the best. I love their characters, but uh, Klaus Michelson, he had a big heart, but he was kind of like um, in his Gemini energy, you know, like he was hard on the outside. He didn't get mad. He got even, you know, he was cutthroat. Um, not saying that every Gemini is cutthroat, but he really was in that CEO status. Like he wanted to rule everybody and everybody to fear him, but he had two sides to him, you know? He had two sides to him, and um, 
you know, it was just one of them was the ego. One of them was the ego. He didn't want nobody to get the best of him. And so he walked around and had people fearing him. So if that makes sense, but that's just kind of, yeah, his patterns, the self-destructive patterns of the way he did things, you know, you can be self-destructive by, you see this glacier here. She should be trying to pull the glacier up on her own, but you know, I mean, she, she sh not should be, she's pulling the glacier up on her own. There's two hands in here, but this is devil energy, you know, this is devil energy. It's, you know, it's just like trapped, feeling trapped, feeling like, um, how do you say temptation going, for, you know, falling for temptation, seduction, you know, all of these different things when it comes to the CEO type person, self-destructive energies, dark times, closed off, somebody who doesn't really speak their minds, who has a lot of regrets of life. And that's what you're getting away from. So that's what made you change your focus on making this a past life love or feeling like this was a past life love or wanting to be like the old soul. You're changing how you see things now. You know, you're ending with the death energy here at the bottom of the deck because, you know, three of swords is heartbreak. So you're starting to work on yourself. You see what I'm saying? You're starting to work on yourself and you're holding your sword up. You're fighting for what you believe in and you're trusting in yourself. Does that make sense? And there's a new beginning with the Page of Cups. Fishes always bring new beginnings. So, you know, I think that's just where you are with the situation. You've been bored for a long time. You know, you've been bored. You've been impatient. You know, you've been reaching this plateau and uh, disconnected from this energy. And now your belief system has changed. Your belief system has changed within nine years of you dealing with the person, place, or thing so that you can have your cups runneth over, if that makes sense. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull one more card deck or one more card of inspiration to, is it inspiration I'm going to pull or is it just a regular oracle here? I'll pull this deck here <clears throat> to see what message that the universe, okay, freedom, yeah, I told you, everything that you want is on the other side of fear, freedom, energy balance is at the bottom of the deck as well, so everything you want is on the other side of, of fear, your freedom, you know, the yin and yang, so I'll read that to you, let me get the book, <coughs> excuse me, where's the book at, oh, maybe this is it, no, that's not it, hold on, yeah, I just, I just feel like, I thought this was the book. Maybe it's not. I just feel like, oh, here it is right here. I feel like, you know, you just have, you have to understand that, you know, you have to step out and do things for yourself. You can't wait on anybody. You can't expect anything from anyone. You can't be upset and envious and hostile behind someone else wanting to be a certain way. Because, and, and, and why, why you become hostile is because you realize that years have passed by and you never took the, use that key to open that gate to see what's on the other side of fear. And your finances, when you actually really needed to do that, were affected. And therefore, you didn't know which way to go or how to feel. Freedom. Free your spirit. Take control of your life now. I told you that. It says, wild and free, the horse chooses to run in any direction at its own pace. I understand that everything in your life right now is completely within your power to change. Once you cooperate with, uh, with your soul's request to be free from emotional and physical ties, you become limitless and can run free again. The arriving of the horses brings new personal journeys and new direction. The white horse brings truth, honor, integrity, and the dark horse brings shadow of mystery and pride and illusion. Bringing both together to create yin and yang balance allows you to understand what it what is preventing you your freedom. Sorry, what is preventing your freedom? Follow through with your agreements before you make a new uh, make new commitments. You may feel that you are not in control of your life right now. In fact, you are. You can decide at this moment how to react to the circumstances with your environment, within your environment. Observe your surrounding and discover what your what your soul really wants. Your you allow you excuse me. You already have the power and freedom to choose within you. The question is, what direction do you wish to run? Honor your free will by choosing to acknowledge your desire for a break and a change, even if it is only temporarily. 
Right now, your soul desires freedom. By removing restrictions, you can move in any direction. Feeling trapped or burdened by family affairs, responsibilities, finances, relationships, or career choice can sometimes make us feel suffocated. Your choice is uh, trying to release you from commitments as you yearn for the freedom to make your own choices. Breaking away from old attachments and responsibilities, your, your soul is asking you to be playful and to have some fun. The horse asks you to simply simplify your life, simplify your life and expand your knowledge. Seek more information uh, before you make future decisions. It is essentially essential through this growth period that you find the freedom that you need to allow yourself to flourish. You have the power to change your direction of your life. Affirmation. I am moving forward in a direction I choose, bringing me closer to achieve my goals and the divine life and my divine life purpose. So it just goes back to where we started at. <clears throat> Excuse me. It just goes back to where we started at. Even though you might feel like there is a need for you to uh, stay stagnant or be there, that's the fear that's telling you that. The fears are letting you know that, you know, they're keeping you stagnant. And that is where the moon and cancer is right now. It's letting you know to let go of everything. Things will soon come to an end. But in the process of this, going through this gate, understanding why your financial constraints are there, you know, and working through your fears, everything is on the other side of your fears. And that is where this read is about. This is what this read is about. It's not necessarily about this person, the CEO. It's about where you are, your balance, your, align, your al alignment, your clarity, the financial money problems, your, your need to survive without this beautiful, you know, without having this security behind you which is that house you know which is that house that this person is looking at you know <clears throat> excuse me you're staying in here and when it's when it's all said and done you need to understand that there's other things on the outside of there but you won't know that unless you explore them and that can cause a lot of financial constraints if you don't step out and take a leap and work and go towards the things that you want to do not what somebody else wants you to do and that's what we all have to learn in a relationship in a friendship in a business you have to make sure you set boundaries with everyone my drug of choice dr pepper you have to make sure you set boundaries with Everyone, you have to make sure you're doing the things that you love. And if you're not, you're envious and hostile when it comes to how somebody else treats you and how you let them treat you. That's it. How you let them treat you and all the things that you haven't done because of your fears that keeps you stagnant. I'm going to go ahead and let it end at this. Um, I love you guys. Bye-bye. You made it to the end and thank you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell notification to be notified when I come on. Let's say an affirmation. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and also addictions. Addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or situation.